Another storm forced Columbus into the port at Lisbon. From there he went to Vale do Paraiso north of Lisbon to meet King John II of Portugal, who told Columbus that he believed the voyage to be in violation of the 1479 Treaty of Alcachovas. After spending more than a week in Portugal, Columbus set sail for Spain. Returning to Palos on 15 March 1493, he was given a hero's welcome and soon afterward received by Isabella and Ferdinand in Barcelona. Columbus's letter on the first voyage, dispatched to the Spanish court, was instrumental in spreading the news throughout Europe about his voyage. Almost immediately after his arrival in Spain, printed versions began to appear, and word of his voyage spread rapidly. Most people initially believed that he had reached Asia. The bulls of donation, three papal bulls of Pope Alexander VI delivered in 1493, purported to grant overseas territories to Portugal and the Catholic monarchs of Spain. They were replaced by the Treaty of Tordesillas of 1494. The two earliest published copies of Columbus's letter on the first voyage aboard the Niña were donated in 2017 by the J.I. Kislik Foundation to the University of Miami Library in Coral Gables, Florida, where they are housed. On 24 September 1493, Columbus sailed from Cadiz with 17 ships, and supplies to establish permanent colonies in the Americas. He sailed with nearly 1,500 men, including sailors, soldiers, priests, carpenters, stonemasons, metalworkers, and farmers. Among the expedition members were Alvarez Chanca, a physician who wrote a detailed account of the second voyage, Juan Ponce de Leon, the first governor of Puerto Rico and Florida, the father of Bartolomé de las Casas, Juan de la Cosa, a cartographer who is credited with making the first world map depicting the New World, and Columbus's youngest brother Diego. The fleet stopped at the Canary Islands to take on more supplies, and set sail again on 7 October, deliberately taking a more southerly course than on the first voyage. On 3 November, they arrived in the Windward Islands, the first island they encountered was named Dominica by Columbus, but not finding a good harbor there, they anchored off a nearby smaller island, which he named Maria Galante, now a part of Guadeloupe and called Marie Galante. Other islands named by Columbus on this voyage were Montserrat, Antigua, St. Martin, the Virgin Islands, as well as many others. On the 22nd of November, Columbus returned to Hispaniola to visit La Navidad, where 39 Spaniards had been left during the first voyage. Columbus found the fort in ruins, destroyed by the Tainos after some of the Spaniards reportedly antagonized their hosts with their unrestrained lust for gold and women. Columbus then established a poorly located and short-lived settlement to the east, La Isabella, in the present-day Dominican Republic. From April to August 1494, Columbus explored Cuba and Jamaica, then returned to Hispaniola. By the end of 1494, disease and famine had killed two-thirds of the Spanish settlers. Columbus implemented encomienda, a Spanish labor system that rewarded conquerors with the labor of conquered non-Christian people. Columbus executed Spanish colonists for minor crimes, and used dismemberment as punishment. Columbus and the colonists enslaved the indigenous people, including children. Natives were beaten, raped, and tortured for the location of imagined gold. Thousands committed suicide rather than face the oppression. In February 1495, Columbus rounded up about 1,500 Arawaks, some of whom had rebelled, in a great slave raid. About 500 of the strongest were shipped to Spain as slaves, with about 200 of those dying en route. In June 1495, the Spanish crown sent ships and supplies to Hispaniola. In October, Florentine merchant John Otto Berardi, who had won the contract to provision the fleet of Columbus's second voyage and to supply the colony on Hispaniola, received almost 40,000 Maravedis worth of enslaved Indians. 
He renewed his effort to get supplies to Columbus, and was working to organize a fleet when he suddenly died in December. On the 10th of March 1496, having been away about 30 months, the fleet departed La Isabella. On the 8th of June the crew sighted land somewhere between Lisbon and Cape St. Vincent, and disembarked in Cadiz on the 11th of June.